Okay, in this video, I'm going to try to show you guys uh, how I did this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this cargo door in my camper. And I've, you can see I've already drilled the hole, or cut the hole in, excuse me. And I'll kind of show you what I did. Um, these are the tools you're going to need. This one's probably the most important. It's a plunge tool. I used it on the inside and the outside, and of course, a, a, a drill, and then a sawzall. And here we'll go inside. This was probably the most important part. I met a guy at an RV show. He said to start from the inside. And what I did with my cargo door is I laid it down and I made a template. And as you can see over here, when I put the template in, okay, you can see it there. I had it over too far to one side and the good thing about doing it on the inside is that if you make a mistake like I did, I just moved the template over, recut the inside first obviously, and then you can go to the outside and cut it. So that's a huge deal. Take your time. It's not super hard, but it is a little intimidating. So I'll kind of go back outside. I'm going to do this all in one shot. I'll try to make it as quick as I can. Um, and, I, and I really do hope it helps you. Here's the template that I made. It's made out of cardboard. Let me flip the camera sideways. And that was huge. That, that just made it so much easier. And then once I made the template, I held it on the inside, like I said, and I, I cut around it. And what I did with the plunge saw is on the inside I made two marks on the bottom two on the top and one on each side then I held my template from the outside and drew it around and then I used that plunge saw to do to cut the the outside of the camper and I'll kind of run through this with you and how I did that I'm just trying to give you guys an idea. To, I don't know what this would cost to have it done. I'm sure it's not cheap. But when you're cutting the the metal, hold your plunge saw with just the tip of it in there, and it cuts a lot, lot, you know, a lot better. And so anyway, that's the result that I have. All I've got to do now is frame the inside, and I've got some wood blocks that I'm going to cut. Frame the inside. I'll put some silicone around it um, and then install the door. Like I said before, it's really not that hard if you take your time. Uh, get this, this tool right here is just invaluable. It's, it made it so much easier. I did use a sawzall and most of you guys know what they are. I did do the sawzall for around the corners. The plunge tool wouldn't do the corners. You know, the corners are not perfect, but they're close. And uh, you can see that now I'm going to have way more storage that I didn't have before. So, pardon the background noise. I'm at my shop trying to do this. Uh, you can see the piece of metal that I cut out from the camper. Um, I got the door on the internet. The door was it's in great shape, keyed. And it was only about $39, where if you bought it at an RV store, it probably cost you $100, $100.5. So, so do yourself a huge favor. Shop online. Um, it's a 30 by 14 door. It's going to give me plenty of storage. And I'll just back up, and you can kind of see the hole that I cut in there. But I'll stop for now. I'll load this one. And when I get done, I'll, I'll show you another little view before I install the door of putting all the wood in because you do have to frame it up and what I also did is I pre-drilled the door you can see the holes I put two holes on each side and then I put three holes on the uh, on the long part of the door so you know you don't have to mess with it once you get the door in man I hope this helps you guys um, it's probably a, not a great video but I'm not a video guy, so I'll stop it for now. I'm going to frame in the door. We'll install the door, and I'll let you see the finished product. 